I'm Dr. Bertice Berry, and I want to tell your story. I am in Delaware, Wilmington, Delaware, my hometown. Um, I'm here for the funeral of my surrogate father. And yesterday, my surrogate sons showed up to surprise me and to be with me. And as they said, to put eyes on me and make sure that I was okay. There's an old saying that blood is thicker than water. But that old saying has been truncated and confused over time. The original saying is, the blood shed by brothers in battle is thicker than the water of the womb. In other words, that bond of brotherhood when they shed blood in battle is stronger than that relationship that comes from biological family. I understand this clearly because all of my children are adopted but they are no less my children than someone who pushed them out themselves. These are my children. I think we've been doing family wrong. I think we do family based on only these units that we are born into or related to and anything outside of that. We don't know how to do it. And then we come along and find Facebook and we do our real family days on Facebook so that others can see we have real family, even though in real life, you may not even be connected to those folks. I believe that family is bigger than what we've made it. And when Sean and Ben surprised me yesterday, there was no mistake the love that they have for me. Love is what makes the relationships real. And so as a mother with a child who's talented, of course, I was like, baby, you here, you gonna sing. And he did. And boy, did he sing. It was incredible. I just want you today to think of all the people you think of as family. Think of how you really know that if you had a choice, this is what you would have chosen. I think that this family bond that we are creating is the thing that is going to bring us back to ourselves. It's the thing that's going to heal our land. It's the thing that's going to cut through the hurts that we have from those units to help us grow into the people that we need to be for society. I love you, family, and there's nothing you can do to change it. Good days. How do I And so, and so, I won't complain. Sometimes the clouds hang low. I could hardly see the road. But I ask the question, Lord. Why, why so much pain? Anybody ever been there? But he knows what's best for me. Yes. Although my weary eyes, they can't see. So instead of complaining, I'll say, thank you, Lord. With tears streaming down my face, I'll say, thank you, Lord. When I was catching the bus to go to school, and when I had to walk to go to work, I'll say, thank you, Lord. I won't complain. Very good to me. Yeah. I wish I had somebody in the room that could testify. Yeah. He's been so good to me. Yeah. More than this whole world. More than this whole world. More than this whole world could ever be. God's been good. I said God's been good to me. He dried my tears away. Yes. 
the dying alone. You'll turn my morning midnight into day. So instead of complaining, I'll say, Thank you, Lord. So instead of complaining, I'll say, Thank you, Lord. For 65 good years of marriage, I'll say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I 